reading books help me a lot to build the patience yes if there is a book of 300 pages and if i have to read that book i know that i'm not going to cover this 300 pages book in just a single day i have to stay consistent for a period of time i have to read 50 pages every day if i have to complete reading the book so as a reader for the last seven years i have been reading around 50 pages every day sometimes 30 40 50 and that helped me to understand why consistency is the mother of hard work today i know that if i stay consistent on any subject or any project then i'm going to build a good amount of knowledge for that particular subject within six months so when i was preparing for ugc net english literature back in 2018 i learned that it is very much difficult for me to stay at home and stay consistent on my goals i didn't have my own room i didn't have the study table i didn't have the chairs to uh, sit somewhere to sit in my studies and to uh, study all right so i have only my bed and within a couple of hours of studying i used to sleep on the same bed so it was pretty much difficult for me to uh, stay at home and to study the subject to study or to prepare for ugc net english literature and then there were a lot of household distractions the milkman is coming the postman is coming and then there is a maid down whom i have to keep on monitoring whether she's uh, cleaning the house neatly or not so every night before going to bed i had that sense of guilt that i haven't studied well enough for that day i must do something about it and so i decided to sit with my parents and seriously talk about this matter i'm not going to take the responsibility of my home from now onwards i cannot compromise with my studies i was not happy and if i was not happy how can i make others to stay happy so first thing first i should feel satisfied i should not sleep every night with the guilt of not studying or for not preparing for ugc net examination moreover if you fail the examination your parents your spouse will be the very first one who is going to blame you for not studying well enough and they will be the first one who is going to say that you are a dumb person uh, yes they are going to say that and um, when you wake up in the morning if you if someone says you such things that you are dumb that you are not intelligent that you are average that you don't have the ability to correct anything or to achieve anything the whole day uh, goes in vain but they don't see that how many times we have been distracted by the maid by the servant or the postman milkman other household duties and above all that there are the negative remarks that someone says you early in the morning that you are not um, good enough to achieve anything in life this really hurts and the whole day goes on thinking about uh, self-doubting that uh, i am am i still able to crack this examination or not but that's normal until you achieve anything in your life people will keep on poking their nose uh, but once you get settled once you start going to the job start getting the salary things will get fine people start believing you this is how life goes on so i decided that i'm not going to stay at home and i joined the library that was the decision um, which made all the difference i wake up in the morning at 7 a.m in the morning i used to go to library till lunch 1 p.m or 12 p.m or 1 p.m i stayed in the library and after that having my lunch i i slept for a couple of hours at my house in the evening i again went to the library for two hours 5 p.m to 7 p.m i went to the library every day i changed my mobile phone to the small little one samsung guru phone and then i made the notes i revised those, those notes uh, for the next five to six months and yes i have tried a lot of things in those uh, four to five months you can say that i read the novels i read the books on history of british literature and then i made the notes from those books or you can say i have been through the swayam website where all the free courses are available i did some free courses from that website also and above all i watched a lot of movies it depends on you whatever activity you want to pick you can pick for yourself but in my case it were the movies which made a lot of significant uh, changes in my studies in uh, helping me to understand what is literature helping me to understand what all the novels about all about so once in a while i used to go aggressively in watching the movies uh, for a week i used to watch four movies every day 
because that was helping me to connect the dots because that was helping me to solve the previous year questions so i left no stone unturned whatever the question whatever the work which was asked in the previous year questions i have been through all the works i have been through all the questions in detail if the movies are not available on those novels i simply ordered the novels from amazon and i read that novel see there were questions from swami and friends i read that novel there was question from the guide i read that novel man eater of malgudi i read that novel then there were questions from anita desai's fasting and feasting or you can say fire in the mountain cry the peacock in the custody i read all those four to five novels written by anita desai kantapura by raja rao untouchable by mulkraj anand hulablu in goa orchard by kiran desai all these uh, all these novels have been asked in the previous year questions i read all these novels simply following one simple rule consistency is the mother of hard work i used to read 30 to 40 pages every day and in a week you can seriously complete one novel every week if you simply going to read 30 to 40 pages it will not the mock test it will not the coaching classes it will not the books nothing will help you only the previous year questions go through the previous year questions you make sure you are covering all the topics you make sure that you are covering all the works in detail otherwise you won't be able to crack the examination and build some good habits like reading books or watching movies you cannot crack the examination simply by uh, simply just by reading the summaries push yourself to watch the movies push yourself to watch the documentaries no matter how boring that it will be you cannot crack the examination by simply reading the summaries by knowing about the authors and their works and their lives you cannot crack the examination like that you have to build the reading habit at least read something because literature is all about novels and you have to read the novels at least a few novels so that you can have the taste of literature this is the problem students are giving attempts one after another and there is a student who have given seven attempts but she hasn't read any novel in these seven attempts at least try to read a couple of novels in your attempt so that you can understand what literature is all about if not try to watch the movies that will be helpful for you also so this is how i prepared and after cracking the examination for a couple of times i made this youtube channel so that i can help uh, more students through these videos through the study material that i provide to the students and through whatsapp messages through the personal guidance and so on and so forth so i hope you found the video worth your time if you are new to this channel then don't forget to subscribe the channel for more updates on english literature that's it for this video thank you